Hey, future badass business owner. Welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode I'll be walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In this episode, we will be discussing how you get paid in your new business. Let's face it. You are starting the business in hopes of making some good money and to replace the current income you receive. So let's discuss how you will get paid in your new business and how much money you might be able to make. Now, statistically, the IRS will tell you that the majority of small business owners earn somewhere between $35,000 and $55,000 a year. This number is considered the company's profit after you deduct your product costs and expenses. This would basically be the amount the business owner will need to pay taxes on. But keep in mind, you wear two hats in your business, one being the employee doing all the work, and then as the business owner, reaping the rewards of the success of the business. However, this is where most small business owners fail to account for their time when setting their prices. Now, we aren't going to dive in too deep on this part in the episode, as we will have an episode on pricing coming up shortly. But I do want you to embrace and understand that the money you make in your business comes from both hats you wear in the business, and all of it gets taxed. There is the employee you who gets paid a fair wage for the work that you're doing. And the business owner you is paid out of those business profits. So let's just say you make a fair wage of $20 an hour working in the business. Let's take a look at a quick example. Let's say you're working a total of 60 hours a week. You spend 40 hours a week doing the doing as an employee and an additional 20 hours working on the business, wearing your business owner a hat. The employee you would make around $800 a week or $40,000 a year, which is $20 an hour times 40 hours and assuming a 50 week year. However, the business owner you may or may not make any money depending upon the business's success. Remember, the owner you only gets paid if the business is profitable and makes money. Oh, and if the business doesn't make money, the employee you gets to work for free because the boss, being you, will have to donate their wages and work for free so that they can pay the bills. It sucks if you're not priced correctly and you're not controlling your costs and expenses. But I'm going to bet that you don't want that to happen. This is why it's so critical that you are pricing correctly to ensure both the employee you gets paid and the business owner also gets paid and the business makes enough money to survive. But don't forget, you still have to pay the taxes on all of the money you earn, regardless of which hat you're wearing, because the IRS is going to just lump it all together. Another extremely important thing to remember is sales do not equals profit. So if you want to earn a $50,000 income, you will need sales that will not only cover your employee wages and your business profit, but it also needs to cover your costs and expenses. And you're going to hear me talk about the number one calculation all small business owners need to remember, and that is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. You'll hear me talk about this several times throughout the series. Your biggest challenge is going to be to know how much you need to sell in order to pay for all of your cost of goods, including your materials, your ingredients, those employee wages, not to mention all of your operational expenses in order for you to be able to create the profits. You might discover that in order to earn that $50,000, you're going to need $90,000 in sales just to pay your bills, labor wages, and end up with a profit. Like I mentioned earlier, we will take a deeper look at knowing your business numbers and how to do this calculation when setting your prices in the future. But I also have a lot of videos over on the Badass Business Owner YouTube channel that walk you through this. So I highly recommend that you go over to the YouTube channel and really start watching those videos because sometimes it's hard to learn numbers on audio only they'll walk you through over on the website. My biggest takeaway in this particular episode is that you have an idea of the amount of money you need to make, then figure out what your employee wages might need to look like, as well as the profit you're going to need to make. You kind of have to reverse engineer the entire thing. So this way you can work to the sales that you're going to need to be able to pay for anything. Because once you know what your expected income is that you need to take home, you know you need to add your costs on top of that as well as your expenses, and this is going to help you come up with a basic number for your sales. Let's do a rough example. 
Let's say that you start a business that you think you can help 20 people a week at with an average ticket of $40. So 20 customers times $40 is $800 a week in sales. You plan to take two weeks off a year, so that leaves 50 weeks that you're going to be working. So $800 times 50 weeks is $40,000 in sales. You also know that you need to pay yourself $15 an hour as an employee in your business. And each job will be about one hour of work. So we also know that if you have 20 customers a week, your wage for an employee is gonna be about $15 times those 20 customers, or about $300 a week or $15,000 a year under your employee hat. And if we take our expected $40,000 in sales and subtract the $15,000 of labor, then we know we have about $25,000 left over, and this needs to pay for all the materials you use and any other operational expenses the business will have. And hopefully there'll be some money left over for the profits in order for you to be able to pay your taxes and reinvest back into the business. Now, if your head is spinning, you are not alone. I promise those videos over on YouTube are going to help you out. Numbers can be a crazy thing. You don't need to be afraid of them. Once you know the basics of what's behind them, it makes it 10 times easier, which is why I always preach sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. It's definitely going to help you out. Now, each business model is slightly different and how you get paid in your business might vary. However, at the end of the day, they all have one thing in common. You only get paid if you account for both hats that you wear in your business. You must have a good idea of what your costs and your expenses are always going to run. Like I said, we're going to have a few episodes on your business numbers. Just remember the two hats and remember the number one calculation that I talked about. I know you want to earn a great living and I want you to have a very profitable business. It is very important that you set it up right from the beginning. Don't make the same mistake many small business owners make and just start selling without running those numbers. Some of the most wealthy people in the world started as small business owners. Many of the most quiet millionaires that you see out there also own small businesses that serve their community. On the flip side, some of the most broke people out there make a lot of sales, but they just don't know how to control how they spend that money. You get to pick which version you want to be. My personal goal for each and every small business owner is that someday your income is going to hit $100,000, a six-figure number between your employee income and your business owner income. It's all about how you scale your business, which once again, yes, we talk about that over on the Badass Business Owner podcast because that's where we want you to go. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. There's no way that your particular business is ever going to make that kind of money. For example, let's say you have a dog walking business. Walking dogs might get you $20 a dog once a week. That's a lot of dogs to walk just to get to $50,000, never mind $100,000. The key is to shoot first for the first $25,000 and then continue to work your way up to the $100,000. Remember, you're building a $100,000 business. It's all about scaling the business. In our dog walking example, the only way you can walk enough dogs is to hire other people to help you walk those dogs. You get a cut of all the jobs that they do, and eventually you will end up making the same type of money. It's just looking at your business differently as you continue to grow it. Keep in mind, people will do this because they don't want to own a business. They don't want to chase sales. They just want to have some good quality puppy time. So you do the hustling to build the business. You give them the jobs. They get to have their puppy time. It's a great win-win. And if you can scale a dog walking business to $100,000, you can pretty much scale any business. Just remember, it's not going to happen overnight. You need to have patience and a plan. So how much can you make in your small business? Honestly, I can tell you that all depends upon you. You will want to start with the end in mind and figure out what you need to do weekly, monthly, and yearly in your business to hit your goals. Now, there is a lot more that we can talk about on this, but for today, I just want to give you an overview of what you're looking at. Your financial future and your profit goals are up to you. Anything is possible with any type of business. And in the future episodes, we'll discuss more about profit margins, markup, product costs, and expenses, all of which are critical to your profit success. You need to understand what they are and the role they play in your profit. But this is where the other podcast comes in handy, Badass Business Owners, because we're going to help you out because it does take time to be able to learn it. But like I said, the best thing you could possibly do is go to the YouTube channel and start watching some of the videos where we walk you through it. I promise it'll make it 10 times easier. 
Now in our next episode, we're going to talk about creating a job versus a business because it's going to tie into what we've been talking about in this particular episode. Now, before you go, don't forget to download your free startup guide that you can find in the show notes. And if you've decided that being a small business owner is in your future and you want to dive in deeper, make sure that you subscribe and you check out all the other videos that we have on the topic, as well as the course that is in the show notes. With that, I'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye for now.